Shalom from Jerusalem. My name is Zohar Argov. I am a professor of neurology at the Hadassah University Hospital and the Hebrew University Hadassah Medical School. Next to me is Professor Stella Mitrani Rosenbaum, who is a professor at the Unit of Development of Molecular Biology and Genetic Engineering at the Mount Scopus branch of Hadassah and the Hebrew University Hadassah Medical School. Today, I would like to tell you about a unique disease that we have been involved in researching for the past several years. This disease is hereditary inclusion body myopathy. When I first came from my fellowship in England in 1979, I have encountered a very unique patient. This patient was a 60-year-old Persian a man who had a muscular disease. He was confined to a wheelchair. Yet, when I went to see him, he could sit, still sit in his wheelchair with his legs extended and carry his grandchildren on the tip of his legs. This was a very unusual uh, feature. Such features have never been described in muscle diseases. The reason for that was that the main muscle of the hip, the quadriceps, was not affected in this disease. So I began to look for more patients with these unique features. And indeed, I found several more. All of them turned out to be immigrants from Iran or Persia. I have looked and found not only that there were more patients, but some families were unfortunately hit. There were few members who were affected in the same family. In fact, as you see in this diagram, there were very unfortunate families who had the disease in several members over three generations. This disease has baffled me. Indeed, we have found many patients who came from the Persian uh, society. But soon we have learned that this disease is not limited to this society. We don't know the cause of this disease. We know, as I showed you in the previous diagram, that this is a hereditary or genetic disease. If you don't know the cause of the disease, there is no intelligent therapy that you can apply to that. You cannot even understand its cause. Furthermore, since this is a genetic disease, genetic counseling cannot be done if you don't have the gene in your hands or in your knowledge. Consulting young people who want to marry, that they should not marry in their community, is a very crude form of genetic counseling. Love cannot be consulted. You need many, many more accurate features in order to give a proper consultations for these people, from families who are affected, but also for other members of this community. This unfortunate situation has completely changed when Professor Rosenbaum joined this research in 1995. Her work has caused a major breakthrough in understanding the disease and in extending our knowledge into the modern genetic era. HIBM is a disorder of unknown etiology. There are no physiological or biochemical clues to explain this disease. The only way available to elucidate the cause of this myopathy is the genetic approach that can eventually reveal the gene responsible. We have begun with this approach in 1995, applying the then new technology known as positional cloning. These techniques include many different steps, which culminate with the discovery of the gene involved. First, we collected blood samples from as many individuals as possible, affected and non-affected, from the various families, and extract the DNA material from each sample. Secondly, we compared the properties of all these DNAs by using markers spread at various locations throughout the entire genome. When the same marker is identified, which is different in affected individuals than in non-affected individuals in these families, we can conclude that the gene we are looking for 
is located in the same region than the marker is. By this means, among the 23 pairs of chromosomes which are present in every human cell, we have located the HIBM gene in the short arm of chromosome 9. In this kind of research, the cooperation of families affected by HIBM is vital, since the continuous analysis of new families and new markers allows the physical reduction of the candidate region, and therefore reduces also the interval where we should look for our gene. We began our analysis with nine families and succeeded to locate the HIBM gene within a region of about 10 million bases. Today, with the participation of 60 families, we have been able to reduce this region to about half a million bases. I want to acknowledge all the family members who have been willing to participate in this research and to encourage those who have not to cooperate, since, as I just explained, this could facilitate and dramatically shorten our gene hunt. Today, we are in this last stage of the positional cloning strategy. We are in the process of selecting and screening the candidate genes for HIBM. Along our intensive efforts to achieve this goal, we are now preparing ourselves for the post-gene era, since the discovery of the gene is an essential breakthrough in the field and provides the first step in the effort to understand the mechanism of the disease. Such knowledge will allow the design of practical strategies for effective therapy and eventually gene therapy. The laboratory staff involved with the HIBM project is completely dedicated to this cause. We all put the very best of ourselves to achieve what we consider to be a life goal. We are all prepared to give whatever it takes to reach the end of this road promptly and successfully. Searching for a new gene is a long and costly process. On the average, it takes about five years to find a new gene for muscle disease. From past experience, it costs about several hundred thousand of dollars to achieve this goal. In this area, we have been very, very fortunate to have Mr. Michael Banayan on our side. Mr. Banayan has joined us in the early days of, his, of this research. His continuous and effortless support has gained us a lot of the financial support we needed in the early days, and he continues to do so even today. We would like to thank him for his efforts, and we would like to acknowledge his work. But he is not alone. Most of the support has come through many Hadassah groups from the Southern California chapter, headed by Mrs. Soraya Nazarian, as the Vanguard group, the Healing Spirit group, and the, very especially the Haifa group, as well as some New York groups and the more recently established ARM organization that has enormously helped in spreading and educating the community towards the research, research for this gene disease. Only a full partnership between us, the scientists, and the community can guarantee our success on HIBM. Let's get ready together to face the future, which is already here. Mm -hmm.